let me tell you the truth about myself. <coughs> so, I got a YouTube comment. By the way, I appreciate all you guys' YouTube comments. I appreciate uh, the views. I appreciate your time and energy. And I like getting feedback, even when it's critical. So, I got some feedback. It's almost like a mean comment. But it was a long comment. And the commenter, I guess as a viewer, they were saying that they thought maybe I couldn't see myself. I'm drop the ego. I'm super egotistical. The key phrase in there was ego, ego, ego. And that their evidence for it was in my video about celibacy, how I belabored the point that women found me attractive and I had a lot of sex in my life and that helped me to not have sex or seek female validation. So they're saying, you're going on and on about how you're attractive and it's ego and it's, <coughs> you know, you need a slap in the face, metaphorically. So I, I, I like responding to things like this and I, I find it interesting. So the first thing I'll say is that nobody's perfect and I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm just a person. And everybody has flaws. My best friends have problems. Sometimes it's their flaws that make them more endearing and more attractive even, right? It's just, I'm not pretending to be that I don't have problems and I'm a perfect person, I'm not a perfect person. And it's okay. And there's also trade-offs. So when you have one quirk, there's a benefit and there are negative. So let me start off by saying that yes, I'm extremely immodest. I'm not a modest person, and I know that. I'm self-aware on that, and one of the ways that I learned that is through the Hexago test, the personality test. <coughs> I score like a one out of 10 on modesty. The benefit is that I'm super confident and, and super sure of myself. And I'm immodest. I believe it's a real confidence. I'm not a jealous person. I'm not an insecure person. I'm not an envious person. I don't put people down. I lift them up. And while I'm immodest, I think that I'm, I've earned something in a way. At the same time, I don't think that I'm special. I think any of you guys could do it. I know it's easier if you get a better start in life, but any of you guys can live a life more like me if you want to. And I'm not saying I, I have the best life, but I think I've, I do think I figured out something of just making life about pursuit of experience and connections and health. But yeah, so the point is like, yeah, I'm immodest um, and it gives me confidence and I do like external validation. I do care about what people think. I don't need it. If I didn't, I probably wouldn't eat YouTube, right? So there's pros and cons, right? If I didn't care what anyone thought at all, I probably wouldn't be on YouTube, right? If I wasn't so immodest, I wouldn't be in here preaching and telling you guys, stop drinking, stop smoking, live a better life, right? So yeah, I have um, have, have some sort of grandiose self-importance, sort of, but I'm not a narcissist, right? I, I, I get along with people, I'm, if you meet me in person, I'm very, uh, I'm not just charismatic, but I'm genuinely kind and uh, good vibes, right? I'm not here to fight or for drama. But also there's this point of um, so when I when I talk about like, hey women, like I consistently get feedback that women think that I'm attractive. When I say that it's not just because I'm like, hey, I'm, look at me, pat me on the back, ego. It's, part of it is because I know a lot of you guys, that's a motive, it's a huge motivator, right? And maybe there's a better way for me to express it, but a lot of you guys want uh, better female attention, and I'm telling you that I can help you with it. Maybe I should show you instead of telling you. 
So, and also because I'm trying to break a couple stereotypes. The first is, one of them is um, grooming. Like, I'm ungroomed. I get so many comments from men telling me to cut my hair and to um, shave my beard. And I don't, I bathe in the ocean. <laughs> I'm not a very hygienic person. So I'm, I'm trying to, one of the things that I'm trying to do is change the culture a little bit and make it more about health. I might not be the most hygienic, but I'm super healthy, right? I'm clean my teeth better than almost anyone. Why? Because health and hygiene are aligned there. But putting chemicals in my hair won't extend my life. It may do the opposite, in fact. So I'm trying to help you guys reconcile some of the myths and contradictions about attraction and that's one of the reasons why I talk about it. Another one is as a model. I realize I don't look so Asian with my um, long hair <laughs> but if everything was shaved and clean shaven I'd look pretty Chinese and a lot of Asian men especially in the West have a hard time dating and an insecurity and I want to show you guys that you can be super attractive to women and have great relationships and then <clears throat> a couple other things that I'm, I'm trying to point out one another one is that health is m more important than money to women it's underrated being really healthy is extremely helpful to attracting women. And the last point is that, again, I'm not special. Anyone, any man can improve their health and given enough time, become super healthy and have a great body. And you got to work on diet, sleep, and exercise. So the truth about me is, yeah, I am immodest. <laughs> I do think highly of myself. And I also do care about validation, external validation. But on the flip side of that, it causes me to make these videos and to preach to you guys and try to help you. And I, I'm immodest and at the same time I am humble where, again, I don't think that I'm that special. I think that it's like you, nothing, I've never gotten evidence that I'm super special. I took an IQ test and I was above average. I'm not a genius. Um, I wasn't a stud athlete. I mean, I sort of was, but I wasn't, I didn't play varsity sports. Maybe I could have, right? But given enough time, you can make yourself super healthy and attractive. <laughs> and I want you guys to do that. I want the culture to be like that. If I am special, I don't want to be special, right? I was just talking about this. Maybe I'm born in the wrong time, right? I'm probably in the top one percentile of health. And I hate that. I don't like it, right? Because... 75% of men are overweight or obese, so I'm already in the top 25%. And of that 25%, all those guys aren't automatically healthy either, right? There's just skinny guys. So, I don't want to be in this group by myself. I want more guys in this camp, and I also want more women in this camp too. It's annoying that most women are unfit and undateable. And it's not because I think I'm better. If I was born 50 years ago, everybody's fit and I'm normal and it's normal to be fit, right? You look at pictures of the beaches in the 60s, 70s, you don't see an overweight person. It really, what happened, part, a lot of things, the food system is a big part of it. I'm not going to round into that, but the point is that, um, I don't know, maybe I have a little bit of ego to think I can even make a difference and change the culture getting like a couple hundred views per video, maybe a thousand views on a hit, probably get a hundred views on this, 200 views on this video, 
but yeah, let me just wrap up by saying that I read every comment, I try to respond to every comment, and I really appreciate the comments. I really appreciate the comments and feedback. I'm open to feedback. Sometimes it's hard to take feedback from YouTube comments. I don't get mad or freak out about it, but it's like, hmm, I don't know this person, so I don't know their motivation. And also, you might think you know me from my videos, but if you don't know me in real life, you're probably missing a lot because, yeah, you don't know exactly how I operate, or what people think of me, or my circles, what my values really are, how I behave under stressful situations, and so on. So, sometimes I get feedback and I'm like, there's maybe a, a kernel of truth in this, but I mean, there's a fine line between a friend who really knows you well and, and is giving you meaningful feedback and someone who has no fucking clue who you are and is just flaming you on the internet. I don't, I, and I think a lot of the a lot of the comments I get are a mix of, of, of between where someone knows me in some capacity and they're also unhappy as they're writing the comment. Um, but yeah, I always appreciate it. It doesn't make me mad. So I just want to thank you guys and say that you're amazing and I do not take it for granted that I have an audience, no matter how large or small, because I know that attention is the most valuable thing in the world. Not saying your attention is the most valuable thing to me, but your attention is the most valuable thing to you. My attention is the most valuable thing to me, right? It's, it's your life force. It's where you put your energy. So thank you for putting it into me. And I hope that I can help you and return it in some way. Just help you be better. Spread good vibes. Whatever it is. And yeah, thanks for the feedback as always. <laughs> and maybe you're right. I need to <coughs> we'll rethink the way I... Yeah, it's just, it's really hard. So I can talk about it. If you say you're good with women, it comes off as annoying. I get it. But it's not easy for me to show on YouTube. And again, why am I doing it? Is it just for validation? Oh, no, it partly, I just, again, I think it, yeah, maybe it's ego, trying to help the world. <laughs> Dating culture is so bad. So many men struggle. Part of it's business motivated, perhaps, also. I don't know. And then a lot of it is just me processing. A huge amount of this channel is just me talking to myself and processing. I'm getting paid a little bit for it. So, yeah, I'm just reflecting on my life. And I'm super blessed and grateful and thankful. This is my backyard right here. This is my backyard right here. Mango trees, plumeria flowers. Air is pretty rich. I'm on the dry side. You can tell the mountain's super brown this time of year. It's summer, peak dry. It hasn't rained in months. Right by the ocean. I'm telling y'all though, I might lack humility, but I'm not special. You could do it. You could do it too up and move, it's possible. Anyways, thanks for the feedback, much love.